Morning. It's Monday the 6th of November and yes, it's going to be one of those days. Jennifer's ready for school, aren't you babe? Yeah. But last night Paul fell over and really gave his arm a knock and it's really swollen up. So as soon as we've dropped Jen off, we're off to minor injuries just to see if it's broken or whatever. Paul thinks it is so I'll go with what he says because he knows his body. Um, so it's going to be a fun day. I've also got a lot of eBay stuff to do, but uh, more importantly, first thing important is to get Paul sorted out, so we're going to do that straight away. Uh, so, yeah, I've got a book. There's Jen, looking rather pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was all, all bad last night, wasn't it? Did you have fun? You just dropped that, didn't you? Yeah. Right, let's find it. It's nearly one o'clock, guys. We've just got back from, well, a little bit back from Astrid Manor Hospital. Um, we've had some lunch. Paul's broken his elbow, haven't you, darling? Oh. Mm, he's not a happy bunny, I don't blame him. Yeah. He's in agony. So he's got a cast on it, and um, he's got to go back to the, well, the fracture clean around oh. two weeks, isn't it, they said? About two weeks? A week, a week to two weeks? Yeah. Um, to see if it's healing or if it needs surgery, so. Mm. He's been signed off work for four weeks. Lucky bugger on that, but <laughs> not not with a broken elbow. I'd rather not have that, and so would he. He's looking rather miserable, so I'm going to leave him alone. He's settled down on the sofa. I'm going up the shed because I've got an order to pack and something to do. And then I'll sort him out, see if he needs anything before I go down, take the post down and sort out Jen, get Jen. Isn't that right, babes? He's not looking very happy. So he can't use his right hand, and he's right-handed, so it's a bit of a bugger for him. So just wish him all lots of love because he's feeling really sorry for himself and frankly I don't blame him. I would too. So I've just um, dropped three sales off to the post office which was good. There was a camera in there for that. It's on 40 quid. A couple of bits of clothing. I've had two sales this afternoon. So they've gone off tomorrow. They're both camera related. Which I'm really happy with. It's more out of the shed, giving me more space to put more stock in and it gives, you know, it's more money coming in and our payout comes tomorrow. So my payout will be over £500, which I'm very happy with. Now, obviously over 100 of that is going to come back out for postage, but that'll go straight into my bank account. So I'm, I'm happy. It's ticking over slowly. It's just a matter of carrying on. I am looking for a job, and I will get one at some point. Um, but at least this way it's ticking over. I am still playing on my misplay games to try and get up to enough money to, to get a few colouring books and some a, a book I want. So, if not, I'll just take it at 50. I can still get the book I want and probably a couple of colouring books with that. And I'll just carry on playing the games. I love playing the games anyway, so I would play games anyway on my phone. So I might as well get something for it. Paul's gone back to bed now. He's told his work that he's going to be off for four weeks. They're okay about it, to be honest. And uh, he's gone back up to bed because he only had about two hours sleep last night. I didn't have much. And maybe about four or five, if that because I was obviously I was worried about him, it took me ages to get off to sleep. Jennifer woke up crying and like she had a nightmare, so we went into the other room and she came into bed, got into bed with me. Paul will be sleeping in the spare room so he's, he can be nice and comfortable and not have to worry about me bashing his arm or him bashing me with his cast. <sighs> I don't really know what I'm gonna do with him. <sighs> he's always breaking something, poor lad. I feel for him. But he's gone up to have a lie down now, see if he can get comfortable and try and get a few hours sleep. We'll be having the uh, bog, skate bog and nays type dinner for today. today. I, don't, I don't know. Something like that. Something that's easy that I don't have to cut up for him. <laughs> so to cut up his lunch. Because he can't, he, can't, he can't use his right hand at all. Because of his elbow, he can't move it. He can't bend it. It's immobile. So we just have to see how it goes. Poor bugger. <laughs> I've ordered him a thing to go over his car so he can at least have a shower to keep it dry. And I'm knackered. I'm probably going to have a kip on the sofa when I get home with Jennifer once I've fed her. Because she'll be hungry, because she always is, and I don't blame her. So what I tend to do is get, get her something to eat, make myself a cup of tea. I might have a snack myself, because I haven't had much to eat myself today. And snuggle on the sofa. And I'll, I'll read until I feel really dopey, and then I'll have a kip, and I'll do tea. I'll bath her, and then uh, get her to bed. And see how poor, poor old Paul is. He'll be up and down all night, I would imagine. Uh, but well, like I said, at least he doesn't have to go to work. He can go, he, he doesn't have to get up in the morning. He can just stay in bed if he wants to. He does like to come and help Jennifer get dressed. And, and you know, he likes to be with her in the mornings. But it's understandable if he just wants to stay in bed. Because 
I wouldn't blame him. I can do my eBay work just as easily downstairs at his desk as I can upstairs at my desk. It's not a problem at all. It's just a matter of moving some of his stuff out of the way so I can put my laptop there. Because what I was going to do today has been moved to tomorrow. Now today I was going to do all my accounts. Didn't do anything last week. Because, you know. So I do all my accounts up until today. Well, you know, up to date. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to get some listings ready. I'm going to get some listings up. I'm amazed how many sales I've had, considering I have not been listing every day like I normally do. I listed, I think, eight items in total of last week. I listed three, three and a two. And that's fine. But I'm just now happy that I'm still getting the sales in. So that's good. I have got some drafts ready and some that need tweaking, so I'm going to tweak those. I've got some clothes I need to sort out, and I do have some photographs to do, but it's going to be very difficult with Paul being off. I might be able to go down for an hour and do some photos if I need to, and, and it's just going to have to manage like that. So I'm going to stop talking. Um, I'm reading. How am I doing my reading? Right. I have read quite a lot of books in the last week. Um, not not full-size novels but short story books I've, I've read a lot of the Agatha Christie short story collections this is uh, making my total on Goodreads go up because they count as individual books <sighs> it's cheating but hey why not what I've got to do now is go and get all the covers so I can update my reading journal so I'm going to have two lots of those to print off and I'll probably try and do that today um, if I feel up to it if not I'll do it tomorrow but yeah poor old Paul oh I love him I'm just going to sit here and play uh, my game until it's time to get Jen and I'll see you later. Good morning, it is Tuesday. Jennifer is at school. Paul's upstairs having a rest. I'm down here working today. I'm starting. I haven't started yet. I'm still at least. I'm just playing a game, having a cup of tea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my accounts, then I'm going to get the listings ready and I'm going to get um, some listings up. Then I do have two to pack, which I will do a bit later on. I've got some stuff in the kit in the bathroom that needs sorting, um, either measuring or bagging or photographing. So I'm going to be sort that out later because I could do that. And, and then I might do a bit of colouring. So not a huge, massive work day today. Just simply because I've got to catch up on the accounts, and that's more important than anything else at the moment. It's payout day, so I need to get it sorted. Oh, I'm so tired. I am absolutely shattered. But it's okay, Paul's fine, he's upstairs resting, that's all that matters. I'm going to crack on and I'll see you a bit later. Every time I go up the shed to pack an order, I forget to take you with me. I need to say I've packed my two items, I've done my five listings, I've got some more ready for tomorrow and I've been just colouring for a bit. I'm feeling really tired so I'm going to have a shower and get back from Jen and, and lie down because Paul can play snap with her. There's not a lot else he can do but he can play snap. Um, we're going to have a McDonald's tonight. So, because Paul's not been eating much and he quite fancies one and Jennifer wants one, so I'll order one later. Um, I'm just really tired, so I'm going to go and get ready to take the post down and get Jen. I don't know, I just can't wait to have a sleep when I go back. I'm absolutely shattered. It's because I'm worried about him all night as well and, and obviously Jen as well. Not that there's anything wrong with Jen, but, you know, what kids are like. I mean, hello, Zed. I'm also trying to do the washing as well, so that's never ending. Well, it's evening, and as usual, I haven't done anything, Blog blogging-wise. I mean, I have been doing stuff. I was very tired. Got Jennifer from school, and uh, she got changed, and I had to lie down for a couple of hours, and then we had a McDonald's for tea. Um, had a shower. <laughs> Not very exciting in my life, is it? And I haven't done much reading this week, so... Um, it's only Tuesday, so... I have had a sales day, so we're packing out to work on your top. Uh, I'm reading this, A Daughter's Secret by Eleanor Moran, or Moran, depending on how you pronounce it. It's a, it's taking a bit to get into, but I need to sit and focus on it. So I'm going to have a little read of that tonight, I hope. Um, I, I did read a little bit more of The Jack the Ripper Compendium by Otto Penzler. I'm into the fiction section at the back now, which most of it is fiction. And I'm on page 760, and I've still got to get to the last page, it's 991. Now, to be fair, I really only read this one, I've drying my hair, because it's a nice big hardback book that stays open, unlike one of these, which won't when I'm trying to read. Um, but yeah, so I'll let you know 
how I get on. I'm going to see how much I can read of this book tonight. I'm on page 48, which is, uh, well, it doesn't have chapters, it just has uh, years and information. But I'm on page 48, let's see how much I can read before I want to go to sleep. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know before I uh, switch off the lights. Okay, it is actually 20 past 10, and I read just under 100 pages of A Daughter's Secret. It is getting a lot better, I'm enjoying it. And then I read another story in the Jack the Ripper omnibus. Now, that's the one I usually read only when I'm drying my hair. And the reason I'm doing it is still around 200 pages ago, and I want to finish it this year, so that I go into the new year without that one still being currently read. I want it gone, I want it done. So I'm going to read one story every night, as long as it's not too long, and get rid of that book. <sighs> oh, but now I go to sleep, because uh, I'm still going to get up in the morning and get Jen ready for school. But yeah, I mean, I am enjoying that book. Um, I've, I've started on page 48, and I put it down on page 142, so it's just under 100 pages, which is not bad. Um, yeah, I mean, i got to admit, I buy books faster than I can read them. I shouldn't, but I do. I mean, I do go to the charity shop and buy them from there, they're only 25 pence a piece, so it's not too expensive. I'm trying not to do that at the moment, but it's just too easy to go and do it. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm off to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Do you know it's Wednesday afternoon and I haven't vlogged because I'm an idiot. Very forgetful at the moment, I must admit. Um, I haven't read anything, obviously I've been working this morning doing my eBay. Um, listed some items, got some more ready to list. <sighs> Out of breath. And then I've got... Yeah, one to, one to take. I've packed it up, it's ready to go. I'm going to help Paul with his shoes now because he wants to go out for a walk. Go down tomorrow to have some lunch, pick up Jen. I've got tons and tons of washing to put away. I'm going to take this book to read in the car because I want to try and get through a bit more of it. I really, really want to finish it. I'm not going to lie. It's all right, but it's not my favourite book. Ooh, and I'm tired again. Hi everyone. I hope you're right. It's Wednesday afternoon. I'm knackered. I've just been running, rushing around downstairs trying to do stuff. Just seen on Facebook on Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn remembered that Sheen have got a Marilyn collection. It's stunning. It's called Marilyn of Sheen X and it's fantastic. It's clothes mostly, but there's also little things like accessories, like there's scrunchies and a hairbrush, a mirror, travel, makeup bags, makeup stuff like that. It's fantastic. I'll get a few cheap for myself. I will get a few cheap bits for myself. Um, but they've got like a gorgeous like lounging shirt, which I would wear as like a night shirt, and some lovely hoodies. Go check it out. Looks great. So that's the first thing. Scroll in Instagram because um, I put a picture up, and I'll show you what I put a picture up in a minute. I saw Adam the Wheel YouTuber. Go check him out. He's absolutely fantastic. I haven't watched him for a while. I might pop him in on, on later. <laughs> he just posted this picture of him. This, uh, just literally the caption is Boston, November 23rd. And he's just standing in this sort of yard surrounded by and, and this big aisle there. And on each side of him going back is a load of bookcases with books on it and yellow signs. And I'm like, post a comment. At the Brattle? Nice. So he's, he's actually at the Brattle bookstore in... Um, Boston. Now I know, I've never been to Boston, I've never been to the Brattle, I would love to go. Now I know this bookstore because it's Steve Donahue's neck of the woods and he often posts about going to the Brattle and picking up books. Sometimes he takes um, some footage of, of the books there which I always love, I always love watching the Brattle books. Now what I was posting on Instagram was a picture of this and my second childhood. I found this, Enid Blyton's Christmas Stories, in the charity shop for 25 pence. So I thought, well, that's coming home with me. And I bought three others as well. But you will see all of those and more in a book haul. Now, I do have filming to do for this month. I haven't done yet. I'm going to try and do it tomorrow. I've got a book haul, a reading wrap-up, and my colouring book pages, because I haven't done them yet from October. And it's just simply because, obviously, last week was half term, so I was busy with Jen. And this week, Paul's obviously hurt himself, so... It's been a bit hard to get anything done, really. I've hardly done any colouring, hardly done any reading. And I'm knackered from running around all the time. Um, my dad's still got problems with his car. 
um, problem being that he, well, the neighbour over the road says that the alarm was going off on and off for, an, for every hour last night. And we don't understand why it would be going off, because it doesn't go off during the daytime. It's only at night. And he was saying, oh, it's probably when cars go past. Like, but why doesn't it do that during the day? So anyway, he took it up to the, the garage where he got it from, because it's still under warranty. They've taken it. They're going to take it to their main garage now and have a good look at it to find out what's going on. Um, he has said that once he gets sorted out, he'll probably give that car to me, and then I'll sell my Citroen uh, probably back to the guy I got it from be for a lot less money but he'll probably do something with it I don't care if he scraps it but you know his dad said I can have it at some point but I think it's because the other day he drove it and afterwards his knee was really his leg was hurting really badly because he's got a bad leg um, I'm going to be putting more washing away because in this house there's the never-ending laundry oh the never-ending laundry because let's be honest, if I'm unlucky, Jennifer goes through three sets of clothes in, in a week, in a week, on a weekday. Her school uniform or school clothes, her evening clothes and then night clothes. Sometimes though, she doesn't want to change into night clothes and wants to wear her evening clothes. So it lays a short and a t-shirt, a pair of shorts and a t-shirt, even though it's November and gold. She'll wear them to bed. And she's fine. Because tomorrow, when she gets changed for school, they go straight in the wash. But it's still a lot of washing. And of course, sometimes I buy stuff from the charity shops if I think it's got a bit of a smell, because some charity shops are really musty. I had a beautiful dress that I've got now got listed um, from a charity shop. It's not really musty. I washed it once. And I thought it still smells. So I thought, right, I can soak it. So I put it in the sink, soaked it with some, you know, oxy and um, all that stuff. So yeah, I thought, still smell it a little bit. But it was a nice day, so I thought, I'm going to put it on the line and see if the air will do it. And when I brought it in, it's not lovely because because the air had cleared it all. So sometimes I do that, and we did have a great big hoodie, a super dry hoodie that Paul bought down the top shop, down the shop, because he does pick up stuff every now and again. And um, I've just washed that, so that's ready to go up and be photographed. I'll try and do that Friday or something like that, maybe, I don't know. A few bits to do, I want to have a look at some cameras tomorrow and sort out about that. I want to bring up a train set and try and set that up, because I think I get even just one of those listed, I'd be happy. <laughs> so, but yeah, but now I'm going to do the never ending laundry. And all I want to do is go to sleep, but I'm not. I'm going to crack on with this laundry and then I'm going to finish my colouring page that I'm doing. Bloody colour with Molly. Hey, Molly. One of two, or is it three this month? I'm not sure anymore. We were doing one from Alan Robert, but I, did, I didn't do it till this month because I ran out of time. Um... But I've got to stop buying books. And the thing is, I can justify it by saying, well, it's only 25p, it's going to charity. I spent a pound. So it doesn't really matter. You know, I will I will get a job. I'm looking. I am looking. I'm checking my emails to see if I'm uh, going to get a message from them. If I do, I do. If I don't, I, not like I can do about it. I can only try. Um, obviously, I'm not spending a lot of money. If I had a job, I would be buying all that Marin stuff on Shein and paying it on Klarna every month because I don't mind doing that. But I'm not, I'm just going to buy them. Um, the hairbrush is like £1.50. The mirror is like £3, or it's the other way around. It's like so cheap, and I'm, so I'm just going to get those. And the makeup bag is like a fiver, so I'm probably going to spend about a tenner, and that's it. But yeah. I'll have to show that on my TikTok if I do get some of it. I love Marilyn. I could sit here and talk to you all day, you know, but then the washing won't get done, and... Um, it'll be tea time and I'll be shot because I've got to get these clothes away. <laughs> so I'll see you after I've done the washing. So I've picked these books out of books I've got this year that I want to read soon. Um, so I've read No Stephen King this year. So I've got Apt Pupil, which is getting wrecked. It's got damp somehow. And Fairy Tale. Then I've got the two Richard Cole's book, the Reverend Richard Cole's book. Uh, that I was given for my birthday. Conversations with friends. I thought this was really thin. It's not as thin as I thought. And the made by Nita Prose. So I've got those six out to try and read. <sighs> After I've read the one I'm already reading. Um, yeah, I found a couple of books that shouldn't have been in there that I have already read. Um, so I'm not sure why they were in there. I've put one load of books up there on the top. So I'm going to try and read some of those as well. 
Hello everybody, um, Paul's downstairs, Jennifer's asleep and I've come upstairs to read before sleepy times so obviously I'm still reading this I'm on page 200 and 200 exactly I did read a bit earlier on so like yesterday I'm going to see how much I can read before I've had enough or if I can finish the book I probably won't read a Jack the Ripper one tonight because I don't know where I've put the book it's around somewhere I'll find it. And then I might start this one. I'm so sorry I have yawned at you. And I think I might start that one. So I got, like I said, I've got the next few books I want to read out. These are ones that I've bought this year. This isn't, this is an old one. So I don't have the TBR jar in here. It's in the spare room where Paul's sleeping at the moment because of his arm. So if I do finish this one, and there's about 200 pages left, I'd say. Maybe a bit more. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, about 210. So I might not finish it tonight. I'm not going to be able to go in, get the TBR jar to... Usually <sighs> pull another one out. But I, as soon as I finish this, or whenever I do finish this, the, whenever I can get in there and get to the jar. I will pull another one out, obviously, because I'm trying to work my way through the old TBR as well. But I'm going I'm to read this one next. I've, just, I've decided. I've also got the, the, the second one in the hardback. So, which these were presents from Paul's mum, so I'm really grateful for those. Um, I bought Fairy Tale myself. Actually, technically Paul's mum bought it for me, because it was on a gift card that his mum gave me. <laughs> and the other three that I pulled off that pupil, which apparently is from different seasons which I have read so I might recognise it when I, I read it The Maid and Conversations with Friends they were all like from one of the charity shops or actually that pupil I bought from somebody on Facebook the other two were from charity shops so they were like 25p or something ridiculous the other two books I found in there was this The Thin Story, The Yellow Wallpaper which is a short story, and the Sullivan Grey series book One Black Candle, so I'm not sure why that was in there because I've read that this year when I bought it um, I, I've read all the books on Kindle Unlimited and I said to the author I'm actually going to go and buy them physically as well now so they get my money twice because Kindle Unlimited they're paid per page um, but I also think another way of supporting an author you like is to buy a physical copy because they can't sell their ebook on any other platform and of course this is printed by Amazon so I'm, I'm glad to have it because I love these stories and I know I reread it so oh the Jack Ripper book's right here actually on the side of the bed so maybe I will read a page you never know but I'm going to crack on with that reading now before um before bed and put my phone on charge because the battery's died oh it is on charge <laughs> I am so not with it Uh, so tomorrow I'll put those two away. I think uh, the yellow pool wallpaper will go on top of the, the, um, the bookcase. Black Candle will, I think, go behind the books, which is great. So that's good. So yeah, know what I'm reading next. I love it when a plan comes together. I'll tell you how much I've read. Obviously, it's, I'm actually on page 200, so it's easy to remember when I finish. See you in a bit. Guys, it's about half 11, Thursday morning, and I am knackered. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm still in bed. I did not sleep last night at all. For some reason, I just could not get off. Um, so when I, when I did get up to get Jennifer ready for school, because they've gone to St Fagans, um, which is a, um, a museum, I'll tell you about it in a minute, I just felt dreadful. So... Um, I have listed five items since I've been away. <laughs> Sorry, three items. I've had a sale, but it can be posted tomorrow, so it will be posted tomorrow. I just feel so tired. As you can tell, I think part of it is worrying about Paul and looking after Jennifer and trying to do everything, and I just couldn't sleep. My mind wouldn't shut down. So, yeah. So I did finish that book last night. It was really good. So that's an update on reading. And I started reading the Murder Before Evening song, which is Even Song, which is the Reverend Richard Cole's book. And it's very good. I've only read two chapters because after that I tried to go to sleep, which didn't work. 
So I'm going to get up in a bit, but I'm so tired. Today's plan. Now, I've done, like I said, I've done some listings. I've had a sale. doesn't need to go off till tomorrow, so I'm not going to worry about that now. I'll pack it later. I'm still waiting for payment for one item that sold a couple of days ago. I, I hate people that do that. Why Why put an offer in if you're not willing to pay for it and keep an eye on your eBay? It just does my head in. Oh, well, never mind. Anyway. It was a good sale as well. It's not brilliant, but it was all right. Um, before I start your ordering again. Yeah. So that can wait till later. Um... I have to got to pop to Lidl to get a few bits and pieces before I pick Jen up, which is not a problem, I should just go out just a little bit earlier. I don't mind sitting in the car when I get there, I just wait for her. So, we should probably go about two-ish to go to Lidl to get a few bits and pieces. You never know how busy it's going to be in there, and if it's busy, um, it might be a while. I might be in there a while, so, yeah. But we're okay, other than that, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just really, really tired, so I'm going to have something to eat, and I will see you later. Thursday afternoon, I've just picked Jen up from school and it is, I don't know if you can hear that, it is raining really heavy. It was hailing when we were in the car, it was literally white. Um, she had a good day at St Fagans. We bought some Christmas decorations. Well, I did, I went into Lidl's. Um, I'm still reading this. I'm enjoying it. Oh, that rain is horrendous out there, it really is. I have been doing a little bit of colouring, but not much this month, so um, I will have a look because I've got a, a buddy colour to do. I will have a look at that soon. It's just been horrendous weather. What a day. You alright, baby? Yeah. Good girl. So, yeah, she had a nice time at St. Fagans. She went on a big bus, but I'm sure she'll tell you later. She's got her little baubles, haven't you? What have you got? Right, there's a unicorn. Look how gorgeous that is. Quick, hold it up properly. And a, a lollipop. That's nice. And what's the last one? It's a rainbow on a cloud. You see if I can hold them. No, don't hold them all together. You'll break them. Just put them back in the box. Ooh. Put them back in the box, babe. I want to hold one. Though. Well, put them back properly. If they break, I'm not buying any more. I'll put them in the wrong one. Yeah, the one that's it, and the lollipop goes in the middle. You like the lollipop one, don't you? Show the fans. Turn it around. Isn't that nice? So pretty. Yes. Guys, it's Friday. I am currently doing some eBay work. I do have two to pack, so we can do that in a bit. Well, one's packed, I just need to put a label on it and a dress on it. Um, I've done a few listings. Everything's ready to go now. Just got to press go on every item. Um, I've done my accounts, I've updated, I've put some money on my drop and go account because I need that and I've put a sale on so 200 items in my store are on 50% sale so they're half price so if you want to check it out go and have a look. Now it's mostly clothing, I think there's one camera on there and a couple of uh, computer games but mostly clothing, ladies clothing. It's just literally the first 200 items I found that have been on my site for quite a while I've just bugged them on sale, half price sale. I'm now on um, testing some cameras and throwing out anything that doesn't work um, to try and tidy up a bit. The house is a mess. I want to get it tidied this weekend. I've got a ton of printing I need to do for my, um, well, I've got two sheets of book covers to print out for my reading journal. I want to make myself some more bookmarks. I love making bookmarks. Um, so I'm going to get some pictures of Marilyn books, make them the right size and make myself a little Marilyn some more Marilyn bookmarks. I might do one um, with some other favourite books I like. Somebody outside. Um, so I'm going to crack on with what I was doing. So I have packed the two items, got them all dressed, they're ready to go in a bag to take when I go to get Jennifer, but I'm going to my mum's first to see how they're doing. I have got a lens to put on this camera, I'm just giving it a quick clean. Here it is. I have no idea what the lens is like. I know it's the right one. It's the E-series. The E-series. We should be all right for that. And we'll see how it goes. I am shattered. I also need to check my emails. So I'm going to go and do that now. Um, I've got a roll of film here. 
It does have one of these on, but it doesn't really matter. So it doesn't need it for this camera, but uh, yeah. I'm tired. I keep saying I'm tired, I'm sorry. Um, I'm currently reading, as you know, um, Murder for Even Song by the Reverend Richard Coles now. I'm about five chapters in and there's been no murder yet. I, I know he's world building, he's character building, it's really good. I'm starting to get to know the characters and the location. I'm really enjoying it, but I want this murder to happen very soon. So, I mean, it's really weird because they, they you know, they, this guy's probably murdered because there's this argument going between whether or not they extend the flower room or have a toilet in the church. It's like bizarre. But uh, yeah, it's quite, quite good. Very cosy. I hopefully will finish that this weekend and crack on with another book because I'm just really enjoying it. So, don't worry about it. Jennifer wants to show you something she's done. Um, what is it? It's a pop up surprise. A pop up surprise. Hang on, they can't see it. So, close it up. There we go. Uh, open it. Yeah. And what's he doing? Throwing up. He's throwing up rainbow colours. Don't ask me. I don't know why. But there you go. Mm. You alright, happy, Jen? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go get into a new t-shirt. Oh no, wear that one, it's lovely. But it's, but, but I don't want Quinn to see it. Why? Because she, she won't like it. She won't like it? Mm -mm. Why not? Mm. I bet she would. Go on, go and get changed. Take your picture with you. Yeah, I will wear this tomorrow. I promise you, I will. Yeah, it's my favourite. You know I love that because we have awesome adventures, don't we? Yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> okay, so I filmed my book haul and my colouring book, completed pages. I've just got to put all the books away now, which is, I'll, I'll do later because we're going to go out in a bit to uh, go to the pub to meet um, some friends and my dad. <laughs> Uh, I will take my Kindle if I can find it. Here it is. Yay! Because, um, yeah, I tend to read anywhere. I won't read much because we've got friends coming down, but uh, they weren't down to four. So, I'm quite dressed. i do that. Then I'll find somewhere for all these books to go. Well, two of them have got to go in the box ready for the end of the month anyway, so... Okay, I might do another one in that one, but I doubt it. If I put it in the box, it won't get done. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get dressed and do that now. <sighs> tired, very tired. Uh, oh, I can see this huge stack of books that I have to negotiate my way through. And Paul's gonna come in and see him, and he's gonna go, Oh my god, where are you hiding all those? And I'll go in, in, in the cupboard with the boiler. <laughs> So there's a bag there. I said, yeah, they're the ones I haven't hauled yet. They're next month's haul. Hopefully there won't be any more. I can't believe they're the only ones I bought this month and it's only the 11th today. But when they're only 25p, I like to go into the charity shop and have a look round. And I feel guilty not buying anything, so I usually come out with a load of books. So I'm going to get dressed. We're going to, well, get changed because I had a shower, so I put my pyjamas on afterwards. And then I'm going get, to get my clothes on and head off down to the pub. I will see you down there. We're in the pub, everybody. It's very noisy. No, you're not. You're having another pint. You just got a new pint. It's full. It's full. It's for the weekly vlog on YouTube. Woohoo! The kids are under the table watching YouTube or something, aren't they? I'm thinking of having Neil's double cheeseburger for dinner. It's now Saturday night and we're in bed. Jennifer's got to sleep with me because her sheets are still in the wash because we were in the pub and I couldn't put them in the dryer. Come near me, you're very dark there. Let me turn the lamp around a bit, hang on. Let's see if we can get some, that should be better. It's very, very gloomy, very spooky. Here's my baby. Did you have fun in the pub, pub with Quinn? Mm -hmm. That's her friend. Did we have a nice time? Did you enjoy seeing Grandad? Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? And now, potato ears, you're going to be a good girl, go sleep, aren't you? I love your ears. Oh. Gonna eat them. Gonna eat you all up. Oh. Ow, get that out of my face, that hurt. What are you like? What have you got? Oh, it sparkles in whatever the dinosaur's name is. Uh, purple. Purple, that's right. We're very literal with names in this house, they're aren't we? Twinsies. Apparently they're twinsies. So we're going to bed now, aren't we, Jan? So say good night. 
Good. We'll see you tomorrow. It's Sunday. We've got to do shopping tomorrow. But it's Remembrance Sunday, so we're going out a bit later because the street, main street's closed for the parade. So I'll see you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. Hey, everybody. It is Sunday. We're about to go shopping. We'll get the shopping done. I've been drinking from my mug. Yeah, that's Jennifer. On the other side, it says... Jennifer says, don't wake me up. Mug with Jennifer. I absolutely love that little mug. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go shopping. Then I, got... How did I put it on for them to do it. Don't you worry about it. I'll show you later. And, uh, yeah, shopping, washing, usual stuff, in it. Yeah. Let's go get it done. Sunday evening, I've done as many jobs as I can. Do my back's aching. So, I've done loads of washing. Still got more to do. Put it away. Made Jennifer's bed. So, she's got a nice, comfy, clean bed. Paul's just reading the story, and I'm just sitting on the sofa reading this. This is how far book I am. I'm on page 100. Chapter 9 is just finished, and the murder has literally only just happened. Now, I've quite enjoyed it so far. They just had an open day at the big house, and that was rather interesting. I have, I have no idea what the motive could be for the murder of this person, so... And I'm intrigued to find out, and I want to get it finished. I've got so many books I want to read. I want to finish those Agatha Christie short stories. Only because they'll help up my, um... Well, not only, because, but they will help up my, um... I don't think what it is, my Goodreads, but I'm not worried about that now. I know I'm not going to hit it, I'm just going to enjoy reading what I can. But i got so many books I want to read. Like I said before, I buy books quicker than I can read them. I'm always given books for Christmas and birthday. Now, to be fair, I think Paul's mum's going to get me some stuff from Shein because they've got a whole Marilyn Monroe collection on there. I've ordered a few bits, so you will see them at some point. Um, <sighs> sorry, I know Paul's getting me books. So I'm going to carry on reading this. Like I said, I'm just finished page 100 and see how much I can read before. I'm too tired. I need to go to sleep. So, yeah. Well, I'm going to read for the rest of the evening. I've made it to page 173 of the book, but I'm going to call it a night. This poor Jennifer's not feeling too well, so she's just come in to come and have some cuddles. Poor poorly Jennifer would like to say good night. Okay, Hello. and we'll see you tomorrow when it's Monday and we'll do it all again, shall we? You feel a bit warm, actually, babe. I hope you're not coming down with a moment. So far, you haven't missed a day at school this year. A bit warm. Right, sleep now. See you tomorrow.